Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will discuss only preparation. Now to begin with, what is an only? An only is an extra coronal restoration. That means the restoration is prepared outside the mouth. And it is that restoration which involves the occlusal surface, proximal surface, and it caps one or more cusps, but not the entire crown. To understand in detail about this preparation, you can consult my textbook, Textbook of Operative Dentistry. It is now available as an ebook at a minimal price of 199 rupees. The link is given in the description box below. Do go ahead and have a look. The tooth preparation is discussed under the chapter of cast metal restorations. For that, you consult page 380. Now, to begin with, I, you must first understand that tooth was grossly decayed, therefore we had to go in for an onlay. Now what should be the width of the cavity? It should be two-third to half the intercuspal distance. Now these are two cusp tips and this is the intercuspal distance. So our width of the cavity is either half or two-third of the intercuspal distance. Now since in this preparation the cusps are also involved, so how do we cut those cusps or prepare those cusps? We first make depth guiding grooves using side of the burr and then we cut along the depth guiding grooves reducing the cusps and preparing them for cusp capping. Now this is the prepared tooth preparation that is completed. You can see this is the proximal box. This is the secondary flare that is given. These are the cusps which have been prepared for cusp capping. Now this is the shoulder margin which is given here. But now the case that I'm going to discuss in that the shoulder had to be extended right till here because the case involvement was more. So let's see that case. This is a case of grossly decayed maxillary molar. The tooth has been prepared to receive an onlay. Now you can see it here. These two cusps, they are uninvolved. They have not been prepared. This cusp and this cusp has been prepared. Now after tooth preparation, impression was taken and cast was poured. Now this is the cast of, and this is the prepared tooth. You can clearly see it here. These cups are uninvolved. And now here there's a shoulder which is given all along the tooth right till here. After the impression was taken, we inserted dye pins and we poured the cast. And dyes were prepared. This is a dye and this is a dye pin. Now what is a dye? Dye is a positive replica of an individually prepared tooth. Now these dyes, they can be removed from the working cast and then this cast is known as the split cast. So this is the dye here and these are the dye pins. They can be pulled out and removed from the cast and this working cast is now called a split cast. The next step was that a wax pattern was prepared on the dye and then that pattern was cast to prepare a ceramic on day, which you can see here. This is a ceramic only that has been prepared, which is covering most of the tooth. It is involving the clusal surface, the proximal surface, and it is capping one or more cusps. So this is the only preparation. The only preparation present on this cast is then removed and it is cemented onto the tooth surface using appropriate cementing agents. So this is the final preparation of the only. You can see it on maxillary first molar. Now the procedure for inlay and onlay preparation is long involving a lot of steps. So do buy this book and read it in details. It will be very helpful for all of you. The link is given in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed your lecture. Do like the video, share it and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.